Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we talked about an introduction to Frameback. Today we are going to talk about how to install the official web application. In the description of this video, you will get a link that will take you to the GitHub repository. So going through the GitHub repository, you will see a picture at the top. This explains how it actually works. And I will have another video coming up uh, later, maybe tomorrow or the next day, explaining how this works. So scroll down and probably now is a good time to talk about the fake and scam web services that are popping up and it lists all of them here. If you type on Google frame pack, it will take you to one of these websites and they say here that these are spam and fake and they do not have any affiliation with the original frame pack GitHub page. Make sure that you do not pay or download any files from these websites. So be careful there. Now, in terms of requirements, they tested on these GPUs. If you have a 10 or 20 series GPU, then you will have to give it a try and see if it's actually going to work. You need a minimum of six gigabyte GPU memory in order to use this. And they give you some metrics here that you can sort of refer and uh, try to judge the speed that you will be getting. So they've tested on an RTX 4090 desktop GPU and it's about 2.5 seconds per frame. Unoptimized, optimized is 1.5 seconds. And on laptop, it's 4x to 8x slower. Coming down, we have the installation process. And for Windows, we have a portable version. So this here, it's a self-contained application. It has the PyTorch, the CUDA, the web app built inside it. You just need to unpack it and you will get everything in there. The only thing missing are the models, which will be downloaded automatically the moment you start the application anyways. So click on this link. This is a direct link. It will download a zip file. Okay, so the download process you can see here, it's about 1.68 gigabyte. So it's going to take a minute to download. Once that file has downloaded, you will see it in your downloads folder. On Windows, you will get this button at the top that will tell you to extract all. So you can press on it and then extract it somewhere. So once that process is completed, you will get a folder. When you go inside it, there will be three files. These are bash files that you can run and uh, you need to run this update.bat file. This is very important because the zip file here, the one that you're downloading here is just a bundle. It doesn't have all the updates that were done recently. So just double click on it. It will open a CMD. I've already done this. That's why I have only one file change. After completing, click on the run.bat. You don't have to do anything about the environment.bat. This one will be done automatically for you. For the first time, it will download all the necessary components, including the models. So right now you can see that it's actually downloading this uh, model. We have one shot out of four. So the models files are quite big. Okay, so just give it some time and you'll see after some time, it will open the web UI automatically and you will see frame pack like this. This is where you're going to put your input image and this is going to be your prop and you can continue from there. All right, next, let's talk about another way that you can install frame pack and this will be using Pinocchio. So you can go into Google and search for Pinocchio. Once in here, you just need to click on download button and this will take you to the install page. From here, you can choose between Windows, Mac and Linux. I'm going to choose Windows and then download for Windows. Go into your downloads folder and you will need to extract it. So I'm just going to click on this extract all button and then click on extract. This will take some time and extract the file. You will get a .exe file. Double click on it to start the installation process. This will install an AI package manager basically. Now, if you get any Windows security like this, you can press on cancel. There's no need to give any location access. So again, I'm going to click on cancel there or no. And this is Pinocchio basically. 
Right now we are under the settings page. This is my first time opening Pinocchio. So it's asking me for a home directory where all the AI projects that I will be downloading with Pinocchio will be installed and saved there. So you can go into your file explorer like this and just go and create a folder. You can do it inside the C drive or D drive, whichever one you have. I have one that says AI here. So I'm going to right click on it, click on copy as path. You can also press this uh, shortcut icon here. Go back to Pinocchio, highlight everything, press control V to paste. If you have any quotation mark, you can remove those and make sure you do not have any spaces in here. So if your path is something like users and then John Doe, like this, where we have a space in between, this is not going to work. You'll have to go back, rename the folder, and then come back here, paste it again without any spaces. All right, so once you have your folder, make sure you're adding a folder that does not exist. So you will press the backslash and then maybe type in Pinocchio like this. So this Pinocchio folder does not exist. I have an AI folder and inside the AI folder, I want to create another folder called Pinocchio. Then you can change your theme here from light to dark, whichever one you want. And then it says here, standby, do not close the window. Once it's created that folder, initialize everything, it will take you to the welcome page where you have discover page. You can also click at the top here to go to your discover page. So I'm going to click on visit discover page and we have a search script option where you can search for frame pack. But for me, I already see it here. So it's available in one of the options. And as you can see, there are other AI applications that you can choose for. And if you don't see it, you can always search for frame pack like this, and then you will get it here. So click on it. This will take you to the page where you'll get uh, some additional information. Make sure that on the right here, it says verified script. Remember that this will run a script and then install everything for you. So you need to make sure that the script has been verified. Don't just click on any application that you see and install them. When you click on download, it will tell you what are the things which are required. It detected that I have VS, but everything else is missing. So click on the install button and then continue from there. I'm not going to do it because I already have the portable version. All right, so these are the two ways that you can install the official web application. Now I have one more method on how to install frame pack and that is the manual way. I will have a separate video for that since it's more technical and you will need to run a couple of commands in order to install it that way. Okay, so thank you for watching until the very end. Have a nice day, take care. If you need that manual way of installing frame pack, that video will be up in a couple of hours maybe tomorrow, depending on where you are from. All right, take care. Have a nice day ahead. I will see you next time.